Hello everyone, this is Story Majesty. Welcome to part two of the last Minecrafters. Here we go. At the hotel, the rest of the hermits and the OG crafters in rage waited for everyone else to come back. Gar then realized something. Rage, why didn't Ella and Ethan come out of the same portal? He asked. They went through a different portal link, he told them. They are with Ashley and my kids. I didn't want any of them in any danger. Dress scanned the area from the balcony. She then saw someone that was walking with an injury. We got someone, she yelled to Tango and Impulse. They rushed to the person and brought him in. He was hooded but still spoke in a normal voice. Thank you, he said. It's been several days since I found fellow crafters. They wondered who this person was. Then they saw a crest on his wrist. They drew their weapons, and the person chuckled. There is no need for that, he said calmly. Those days of me are far gone. <clears throat> Tango stepped forward. What are you doing here, Zarin? He asked. You are banished into your own dimension. Zarin summoned a glass of cherry coke with a little umbrella. He took a little sip. Hades destroyed it, he said, just as he destroyed your rum as well. I traveled here to get your guys' help in defeating him. Everyone stared at him. This was not the same Zarin they knew. It was different. Zarin got up and took off his hood. His face was scarred and purple. What happened to you? Stress asked. Zarin gave a chuckle. Ever since Hades broke free, he said, he tortured me, gave me a curse. I was told that my brother now speaks Latin. Your brother is soaring? Impulse exclaimed. Yes, Zarin said. The same brother that betrayed me and sent me to another realm. <clears throat> the sky thundered, and Zarin looked up nervously. The great war is upon us, he told them, just like the prophecy said. I hope that my brother gets the spare weapons before it's too late. Everyone stared at each other while Zarin left the entrance. Zarin and Mumbo traveled through the tight cavern through the spare weapons when Mumble stopped. What's wrong? Zarin asked. Mumble crouched and plucked a string. Instantly, arrows shot out of the wall. Zarin gave a low whistle. Okay, he said. Looks like we the first trap was poison tipped arrows. And we have many more traps to go, Mumble said as he closed his eyes. Zarin looked at him. <clears throat> Mumble chuckled. I'm surveying the landscape for the best route to go, he told him. Redstone is my strong suit, but here, it's almost like I can feel it. Sorin saw Mumble go forward and decided to follow him. They got into an open cave and saw a shrine. Old shrine to used to worship the creator, Sorin said. Yet it gives off bad vibes. We should get out of here. Sorin turned to see Mumble trapped in a cage. Mumble, no! Zorin yelled. Zorin summoned his sword and heard laughter. It wasn't Hades, but it was as old as him. A brave traveler has fallen into my trap, said the old soul. Have you come for the spirit weapon? I have, Zorin said. Let my friend go and we'll be on our way. Ah, but it's been a while since I've had guests, the spirit said. No one speaks to me, only to spirit Steve. Zorin lowered his weapon. You're the creator of the spirit weapons, aren't you? He asked. The creator bowed. At your service, he said. The weapons are just down the little cavern. But a word of the wise, you will be judged. Thorin looked at him. If I'm going to be judged, he said. Then it's a risk I'm willing to take for the good of every world. The creator smiled. You are the one we've been looking for. He said. He waved his hand at the cage and Mumble was set free. Go you two he said, and free our worlds from Hades. Thorin <clears throat> and Mumbo rushed to the next cavern to the spur weapons. Hades and Eve were just one world away from Earth when Hades roared in pain. Father, you're injured, Eve said. Let me heal you. Hades growled at her, and she backed away. I will not let a wound let me get in the way of my conquest, he said. I can taste victory. <clears throat> they reached the portal 
and Hades breathed in. I can feel their souls, he growled. Every create crafter will be mine. They walked into the portal and arrived at the Earth realm. <clears throat> Scar, stress, tangle, impulse, dock, and rage scanned the area for Hades, but there was no sign on of him. They got an alert on their phones. Hades is in here in a nearby town, Rage told everyone. Everyone else is not back yet. We'll have no choice but to attack without the spirit weapons. They all agreed and headed for the nearby town. They saw Hades taking everyone's souls and saw a girl by his side. Daughter, kill them all, Hades roared. This realm shall be mine. All right, team, Rage yelled. Let's give Hades the fight he won't forget. Everyone charged and attacked Hades. The girl counterattacks part of their group, which, making, which makes killing Hades a lot harder. Tango and Impulse sent a volley of explosives, explosives at Hades, which, while Doc was in close combat with the girl. Dress and Scar built a giant tree, which came to life. The tree grabbed Hades and the girl, trapping them in the trunk. Rage stepped forward. You are all pests beneath my feet. Hades sneered. The tree started to break and they broke free. The sky turned dark and Hades rose into the air. He struck the ground with his sword and everyone fell to the ground. I won't collect their souls, Hades told his daughter. They'll tell everyone to break out. No, I'll kill them all right here. As he was about to kill them, he was shot at, looked up and saw Zarin. You, he growled. How are you here? He destroyed my realm, which brought me here. Zarin told him, now it's my turn to vanquish you. <laughs> Zarin charged at Hades. Hades tried to use his magic, but Zarin deflected it. How is this possible? Hades exclaimed. Zarin struck Hades with his sword, and Hades gasped in pain. Hades fell to his knees, unable to move. <laughs> what have you done to me? He asked. I have put poison into you from the void dimension. Zarin told him, it wouldn't matter if the spirit weapons defeated you. You're going to die now. Hades' vision grew fuzzy. He collapsed and remained motionless. Father, no! Eve screamed. Eve rushed to her father and examined him. That the curse then lift was lifted off of her. She looked around and saw the crafters. I'm sorry for what I have done, she told them. I was not myself. Rage held out a hand. Your stream told us that you're a good person, he told her. You can help us get back to our realm. Eve shook her head. <clears throat> the Minecraft realm is long gone, she said. It has been infected. By now, it is crawling with corrupt spirits. Black sky stirred, and a bolt of lightning struck Hades' body. He grew to ten times his size. Now it is time to kill all of you, he roared. I am most displeased with you, daughter. I am not your daughter, Eve told him. No father of mine would kill my friends. She summoned a sword and stood by her new friends, ready to face her former father. Soaring and Mumbo reached the spare weapons. They sent Soaring and rushed to him. He grabbed them, and they bonded with him. It wasn't anything he felt in forever. He felt more powerful. He looked at Mumbo. Let's go defeat Hades, he told him. They got out of the cave and met up with EY Stream, Testy, Grian, and Exuma. You got them, said EY Stream. They're real, Exuma exclaimed. They're actually real. Dorian gazed at to where the hotel was and saw that no one was there. Where did everyone go? he asked. They went to a nearby hotel to... not the hotel... Nearby town to defeat, to face Hades, Green told him. If we don't get back, everyone will die. We should hurry, Eli Stream told them. Scanners are indicating a storm over the town. My guess is that Hades is doing his final move. They agreed and rushed to the nearby town. They got there and saw Doc, Impulse, Tango, Stress, and Scar attacking a giant monster. They saw a girl in a lab coat helping them. Sister, Testive yelled. Eve saw them and waved. She then turned to face the monster. 
Dorian and Aerostream figured out who it was. That's Hades, Aerostream exclaimed. How did he turn out like that? He's been in the scary survival realm for a decade now, Dorian told him. Earth's planetary alignment is turning him into his true form. I need to act fast. Dorian took out the bow, spirit bow and aimed it at Hades. He fired the shot and it struck right into the heart. Hades let out a roar and turned to Sorin. You dare use those relics against me? He roared. They will do nothing. Hades touched the ground and infected it. The infection rushed to Sorin, surrounding him. Everyone saw this and backed away. Sorin, no! Iwestrum yelled. Sorin could feel every ounce of his body becoming cursed. Black curse mark that used to be on even testy was going on him. He tried to speak Latin, but his words weren't at work. He only had seconds left. Hades chuckled, and so the downfall of soaring majesty begin. He gloated, you will become my puppet. Soaring saw his brother Zarin, who had fear in his eyes. They locked eyes, and they agreed on one thing. Soaring tossed the spare weapons, and Zarin caught them. Hey, Hades! Zarin yelled, don't underestimate the teamwork of brotherhood. Zarin used the bow and sword to, and shot at Hades. Hades started to glow and was killed. The curse was, that was put on Zarin was lifted and he could move again. <laughs> Zarin rushed to him with a medical kit. Use this, he told him. It will he help you heal. Zarin healed up and looked around. He saw destruction in the town but no casualties. Where are the people? he asked. Zarin brought them to another town, said Scar. They should be safe. Zarin stood up and felt a rush of nausea. Zarin checked his vitals. Broken bones and you've lost a lot of blood. He muttered. There's no way to get back to the Minecraft drum. So we're going to have to stay here. <laughs> Zarin coughed up blood, which panicked everyone. He reached into his pocket and gave Zarin a handheld portal. Zarin looked at him. It's your turn to lead, Zarin said weakly. Guide them to the light. Zarin tried to hold back the tears. I will, brother, he said. Zarin looked at the sky and moved on no more. The crafters gathered in a field where they decided to use the handheld portal. Is everyone ready? Zarin asked. They all were ready. Zarin tossed the portal and it opened. They rushed back into the Minecraft realm and arrived in Hermitcraft Season 10. The Hermits were devastated by the infection. Zuma, how are we going to use this world? Crest asked. Zarin approached and waved his hand. The inve infection lifted off the world and Season 9 was ready to pay no, no, Season 10 was ready to play again. Zuma looked at him. Thank you for helping us, he told him. Yeah, Zarin said. I'm just glad this is over. Zarin, Iwasrim, Testy, Viva, and Rage left to go to Block City. When they arrived, Ashley, Rage Jr., and Amber was ready, were waiting for them. Rage, said Ashley. You're safe. Of course, said Rage said. You know I would come home. Rage and his family went to their house, and Zarin smiled slightly. He opened a portal and looked at Testy, and Eve. I made a new world for you guys, he told them. It isn't cursed like the last one, so you should be fine. Thank you, Eve said. Zarin would be proud of who you've become. They went into the portal, and Zarin turned to Eri Stream. Time for you to meet up with your friends, he told him. What will you do? Eri Stream asked. I'm going to leave this world behind me, Zarin said. You mean forever? Eri Stream asked. Until it needs me. Zarin said, or until they need Sorin. But Sorin's dead, Iwestrim told him. Zarin chuckled. Sorin is not dead, Zarin said. I've made sure he didn't die. Iwestrim looked at him. I teleported him to the outskirts of Minecraft, to a cryo chamber, said Zarin. He is being healed at this moment. Any danger there is, he will be called out. Though he will look different than he ever did in this last war. Different how? Eurestrum asked. 
You'll have to see, said Zarin with a wink. He opened a portal. And a restroom went in. Zarin then opened his own portal and went to Go Castle. He walked into the castle and were greeted by J Bob and Gerald. Hey, sorry, said Bob. Welcome back. Wait, you're not sorry. No, he's his brother, said Gerald. We're sh sorry. He's not coming here for a while, Zarin said heavily. I'll be taking care of the castle. The two villagers looked at each other. We'll make sure everything is ready for the grand opening, said Bob. Go castle will be closed to the public, Zarin told them. After what happened, I cannot afford any more casualties. Zarin looked at the sky, knowing that Zorin would return one day. <clears throat> and that is it for the second part of The Last Minecrafters. The second fan story will be up on YouTube in a couple of days. I hope you guys enjoyed the second part. This is Soaring Majesty signing off.